Hi guys, and uh, welcome to the Rustic Chefs. Martin and Jamie. Um, what's today's dish, Martin? Today's dish <laughs> is, well, as you're aware, we've got a lot of fish from Premier, um, one of our local fish suppliers, uh, who sponsored some of our videos. So today we've got some um, beautiful, show on here, it's a um, chalk stream trout. As you can see, it's quite a lovely colour. Um, good about trout is it's high in omega-3 mm -hmm. and vitamin D, 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 <laughs> sorry, I've got a spot there a bit. So all we're going to initially do is cure it, so what we've got here, we've got uh, an equal amount of salt and sugar, uh, we've put in some star anise, some cardamom seeds and some juniper berries and we put the flesh side down, um, you want to press it right in and get all the salt actually into the flesh. It takes about half an hour to an hour to cure, depending on size yeah, of yeah. the fish. Thickness of the fish, or the thickness of the flesh. Yeah, that's what, yeah. We have some papers, gherkins. Yes, yeah. um, um, some, we'll some dill, a little bit of samphire, which is nice and local to, um, to us, from down Limington Way, um, and some lemons. So what I've already done, because it takes about mm, half an hour, yeah. an hour to cure the trout, depending on the size. Thickness. Yeah, yeah. depending on the thickness of it. Between half an hour and an hour, we've got this, we've had this in for about about forty five minutes, I think now. Um, so all it literally is is just equal amounts of salt and sugar, and we put in some aromatics. We've got some juniper berries, we've got some cardamom seeds, and star anise. Put it on a plate. Let's say it's quite. You know, once you've actually cured it, it takes a matter of what five minutes to cut and put. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll put that back in the fridge and we'll show you once that's cured. And it's a form of cooking, it's a, it's a cold cooking method, if you like, um, curing. In the, so, in the fridge, yeah, it's cut out. Yeah, yeah. I've taken up the salt and I've washed it. Um, as you can see, it changed colour. The flesh is toughened up. What we're going to do now is we've got our samphire. Just, just put that on the plate. Just give it a little bit of a, of a base. What we want to do is we want a sharp knife. Hopefully it's sharp enough. And it is just want to do nice thin slices. Like so. We'll start putting on the plate, Jamie. Yeah. And just sort of layer that over your um, over your sandfire. What you'll find with this, where it's been sugar and salt cured, it's got quite a sweet taste to it. So with the saltiness of the samphire, um, the freshness of the dill, and the capers, and the gherkins, the pickles, it all sort of complements each other. Mm. Yeah, the vinegar helps to cut through, doesn't it? Yeah. Cut through that flavour. And it cuts through the fattiness. Obviously, mm. salmon, trout, they are quite high in fat for as far as fish goes, although it is natural fats. So it's not like it's majorly bad for you, unlike eating a cream cake. <laughs> Depending on how, what arm sort of shape or size fish you get, you can also slice it and how brave you are, you can also slice it going down the fish as well. That's the technical side I was thinking of. But we'll stick to what we're doing. Go on the edge a little bit more on that plate as well. Yeah. These are great, you could do a big plate of these and literally put on a table um, with a bottle of nice chilled white or rose wine and just literally nip on it. A nice bit of bread. Summer. Living in the sun, bread, obviously. In the sun. Nice tapas dish. Yeah. Don't cut my fingers. Don't get in the way. I think as we get to the end now, so there's almost that bit sort of really, you want to start going down. And all we do there 
you've got the capers, your gherkins. It's a nice sprinkle on top. Your ice cakes. A little bit of, literally just a few. Stalks of dill. Chalk stream trout, I can really say it well, yeah, it? Really that now. Cured with sugar and salt, um, with lemons and samphire, artichokes, capers, gherkins, fantastic summer dish, great to like I said, set outside and munch on. 